synthesis class 6 science chapter 2 components of food lecture number 1 in this video we will be covering topics number 1 what do different food items contain basically we will be learning about the different nutrients or the components namely carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins minerals and two additional components they are roughage and water now let us first of all understand what is the term components of food mean the chemical substances required by our body for its proper growth and functioning are called the components of food these components are also called as nutrients do you know according to a research in united states of america an adult man needs 2000 to 2500 calories approximately per day while an adult woman needs 1500 to 2000 calories approximately per day to maintain repair and survival of the body we have different components of food they are carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins and minerals All the nutrients which we just saw in the previous slide are broadly divided into two categories based on the requirement by our body. The first category is of macronutrients. These are the nutrients that are required by our body in large amounts. These are carbohydrates, proteins, and fats now let us learn about all these macronutrients one by one in detail the first macronutrient is carbohydrates carbohydrates are the compounds containing carbon hydrogen and oxygen Carbohydrates are the main and cheapest source of energy for our body. Rice, sugarcane, etc. are the sources of carbohydrates. An adult person needs approximately 50 to 60 percent of total caloric intake in the form of carbohydrates. The second nutrient is proteins. Proteins are the complex organic compounds containing carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen. A protein molecule is made up of large number of chain of smaller molecules termed as amino acids. About 20% of our body is made up of proteins. Cereals, eggs, milk, etc. are the sources of proteins. An adult person needs approximately 25% of calories and proteins per day. That is almost 42 gram of proteins per day.
fats. Fats are the long chain of fatty acids containing hydrocarbons. It is one of the essential macronutrients in our body. Our body stores energy in the form of fats. Thus, they are also known as energy bank in our body. It helps in the absorption of vitamins such as vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E and vitamin K. An adult person needs approximately 35 gram of fats per day. Walnuts, ghee, eggs are some sources of fats. I will be sharing an interesting fact with you. Same amount of fats provide more energy than carbohydrates. You know, after knowing this, one of the students thought that fats would be the best food to eat all the time. A ball of fat will give much more energy than a ball of carbohydrate. Isn't it? So, he ate nothing but food rich in fats. Fried food like samosa, puri and all. Right? Do you think he was right? Let us find it out in our next slide. No, of course not. It can be very harmful for us to eat too much of fat-rich foods. Be careful. Eating too much of fat-rich foods lead to a health condition called obesity. The next category of nutrients are called micronutrients. These are the nutrients that are required by our body in very small amounts. They are vitamins and minerals. As we did for macronutrients, same we will be doing for micronutrients. That is, we will be learning some more details about each of them. The first micronutrient is vitamins. Vitamins not only provide energy but helps in the proper utilization of other nutrients. Vitamins are classified on the basis of solubility given as the first one water soluble vitamins and the second one fat or oil soluble vitamins. Vitamin B and C are the water-soluble vitamins, whereas vitamin A, D, E and K are the fats or oil-soluble vitamins. Minerals is the next micronutrient. Generally, salts of certain metals or non-metals that are needed for proper functioning in our body are known as minerals. These also helps in the proper utilization of other nutrients. Iron, calcium, zinc, etc. are the minerals needed in our body. You know student, in addition to all these five nutrients, our body also requires roughage and water. Let us know what is roughage and what is water. Roughage Undigested fibrous material of food is known as roughage. It does not provide any nutrient and 
is not digested by our body. However, it is an important part of our food because it helps in number one, the proper functioning of digestive system. Number two, the smooth movement of waste. Number three, in preventing constipation. The next additional component is water. Water does not provide nutrients, yet it is essential for human survival. Number one, it helps our body to absorb nutrients from food. Number two, it helps to keep our body cool and healthy. Number three, it helps in the removal of waste in the form of sweat and urine. Excessive loss of water leads to dehydration, which is dangerous to life. At this point, we have come to an end of lecture number one. Here I have few questions for you as homework, which are based on the topics we covered right now. Multiple choice questions. Question number one. Which of the following sources of protein is different from others? Option A, peas. Option B, gram. Option C, soya beans. Option D, cottage cheese. Commonly we know it as pani. Question number 2. Ghee and butter are major sources of Option A. Proteins Option B. Carbohydrates Option C. Fats Option D. Vitamins Question number 3. The vitamin that gets easily destroyed by heating during cooking is dash. Question number 4. Write the chemical composition of A. Carbohydrates B. Fats and C. Proteins Question number 5. Which of the following food items does not provide any nutrient? Milk, water, orange juice, tomato soup. 